Today's episode is about the 16 into 2 LCD. LCD modules are most commonly used in most embedded projects. The reason being its cheap price, availability and programmer friendly. Most of us would have come across these displays in our day-to-day -day life, either at PCOs or calculators. In today's episode, you'll learn number 1 16 into 2 LCD introduction. Number 2 features of 16 into 2 LCD module. Number 3 16 into 2 LCD pinouts open description. Number 4 soldering. Number 5 16 into 2 LCD interfacing with Arduino and finally number 6 16 into 2 LCD programming. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for today's tutorial are number 1 Arduino, number 2 16 into 2 LCD, number 3 a potential meter or variable resistor and finally number 4 some connection wires or jumper wires. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. LCD stands for Liquid Crystal Display. 16 into 2 LCD is named so because it has 16 columns and 2 rows. There are a lot of combinations available like 8 into 1, 8 into 2, 16 into 1 etc. But the most used one is the 16 into 2 LCD. So it will have 16 into 2 equals 32 characters in total and each character will be made of 5 into 8 pixel dots. Operating voltage of the 16 into 2 LCD is 4.7 volt to 5.3 volt. Current consumption is 1 milliamp without backlight. This is an alphanumeric LCD display module which means you can display alphabets and numbers. Consist of two rows and each row can print 16 characters. Each character is built by a 5 into 8 pixel box. Can work on both 8 bit and 4 bit mode. We will be using this LCD in 4 bit mode. It can also display any custom generated characters. I will explain this in my upcoming tutorial. Available in green and blue backlight. 16 into 2 LCD has total of 16 pins. Pin number 1 is the ground and will be connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 2 is the VDD and will be connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. Pin number 3 is the contrast pin. This will be connected with the potentiometer. The LCD contrast can be then controlled using a potentiometer. Pin number 4 is the RS which stands for register select. It can be set to 0 or 1. 0 is equal to instruction input, 1 is equal to data input. Pin number 5 is the read or write pin of the LCD. It can be set to 0 or 1. 0 means write to the LCD module and 1 means read from LCD module. Most commonly we use 0 as we print text and sensor values on the LCD. For this we simply connect this pin with the ground as ground means 0. Pin number 6 is the enable pin, pin number 7 to 14 or the data pins which are also represented by D0 to D7. So pin number 7 equals D0, pin number 8 equals D1, pin number 9 equals D2 and so on up to pin number 14 which is D7. To reduce the wiring we will be using this LCD in a 4-bit configuration. So out of these 8 pins, we will be using only 4 pins D4 to D7. And finally, pin number 16 will be connected with the Arduino's ground. Now let's start soldering.
So now as you can see the uh, pin number 16, 5 and 1 is are connected and then another wire is connected and this will be connected with the, with the Arduino. As you can see the soldering is completed now it's time to check for any short circuit and also check the continuity there is no short circuit the continuity is okay now let's discuss the final circuit diagram this is the complete circuit diagram explaining how 16 into 2 LCD will be connected with the Arduino this schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version if you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs then watch my tutorial the link is given in the description as you can see ground is connected with pin number 1 5 and pin number 16 5 volts from Arduino is connected with pin number 2 and pin number 15 the middle pin of the variable resistor or potential meter is connected with pin number 3 of the LCD while the other two pins are connected with the ground and 5 volt pins 4 to 7 of the Arduino are connected with pins D7 to D4 of the LCD. Now let's display some text and numbers on the LCD. 16 into 2 LCD programming is really easy. The difficult part has already been done. We have a library for this which consists of all the functions. With the help of these functions you can select any column. You can select any of the two rows and so on. So first of all we start with the hash include liquidcrystal.h hash means that this is a preprocessor directive and dot it means that this is a header file then we define some pins rs is connected with pin number 9 of the arduino en is connected with pin 8 d4 with pin 7 d5 with pin 6 d6 with pin 5 and d7 with pin 4 initialize the library with the numbers of the interface pins as you know my friends uh, each and every Arduino Omega program has at least two functions which are the white setup and white loop functions. White means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Set up the LCD's number of columns and rows. LCD dot begin 16 comma 2. This instruction simply activates the LCD. Print a message to the LCD lcd.print electronic clinic set cursor is a function and it takes two arguments as the input the column number and the row number zero means a first column and one means a second row if you want to select the first row then replace one with zero let's first select column zero and second row lcd.set cursor zero comma one print the number of seconds since reset LCD dot print millis divided by 1000 1000 millisecond is equal to one second I've already uploaded this program let's watch this project in action Now let's make some changes and see what happens.
I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.